Hey guys, so it is Wednesday, August 2nd. I can't believe we're in August already, it's crazy. Um, I have another food video, basically. I also want to talk about my hip and my physical therapy that I went to today. And so I'm going to show you guys a quick grocery haul and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to make with it. So my goal this week was to spend less than $30 um, and I'm only prepping for about five days worth of meals but I could probably I could probably get away with six days worth of meals and the idea was to kind of avoid any processed food and just like basic fruits and vegetables quinoa legumes anything like that beans so I'll show you what I got and I also the stuff that I'm going to be making I already have some of the stuff that I need like oatmeal for example I have I have a big bag of it so I don't need to buy more of that um, powdered peanut butter things like that so I'm just gonna show you this was I went to Sprouts farmers market and I spent thirty one dollars and thirty five cents which is the cheapest I've spent on groceries in a long time I typically spend like at least seventy dollars on groceries every single week and that's just for myself um, but I am trying to save money as you guys know so we're gonna try and stick to a budget so I'm gonna always try to aim for less than thirty dollars or less than forty dollars at least and what I did this week was I went on a Wednesday so at Sprouts they do double ad Wednesdays so it's typically cheaper um, like everything is cheaper but I also was shopping based on there's somebody in my backyard Okay. Um, I also was shopping based on the lowest prices in the ads so for example sweet potatoes were on sale like two pounds for a dollar avocados were on sale two for a dollar so everything was that's what I was basing my meals on was the sales so I think that's a good technique that's what I'm gonna try to always do all right sorry that was a lot of talking here is what I got um, as a snack these skinny packs these are really good to me uh, there's six packs in here almond milk usually I get the protein one but this one was cheaper so unsweetened vanilla I got some walnuts some tricolor quinoa some white rice blueberries a big carton of it I got black beans and dark red kidney beans I got several lemons got two avocados three colors of bell peppers a couple of pink lady apples sweet potatoes salsa two cucumbers and then I got a gallon jug um, I never buy the like I never buy I don't buy the gallon of water every single week or anything I just wanted to buy a new one because the old one I have I've had for literally a year so I just wanted to replace it and then I'll probably keep that for another year so um, I try to reduce my plastic as much as I can which is why I don't get bags for all my produce and stuff like that and I always use reusable bags and plus if you use reusable bags at Sprouts at Target I think at Kroger now um, you get a typically a five cent discount per bag so um, it does add up if you go every week so yeah saves you money in the long run and saving the planet but I'm gonna put these groceries up walk the dogs and I'm gonna talk about my hip in a second so see that I wanted to explain what's going on with my hip so back in well, it was like late May early June I started having pain in my right hip and it was typically like walking down a hill um, any leg exercises would kind of irritate it and then like everything started irritating it it was the worst like if I would be sitting in my car and then uh, sometimes like even pushing the brake versus or the gas or whatever would hurt um, and then sitting in the car for a long time or even like 20 minutes or 30 minutes I would stand up out of the car and like prepare for that pain um, which was pretty painful and then same with sleeping as soon as I would get out of bed I would like prepare for like this shock of pain to come up my leg um, so there was nothing that really triggered it so I assumed it was tendonitis or bursitis whatever so I was um, trying to treat it myself uh, I didn't do a very good job of it. I wasn't like consistent with it. 
with anti-inflammatories and, and I don't like to take medication like that so I was kind of avoiding it but it did help tremendously. Um, foam rolling, which I did get really good at that, I was doing it like daily. Uh, somebody let me borrow a lacrosse ball and I was using that and I made sure to like warm up and stuff. And I also didn't do any leg days or anything. So um, last week I was still having pain from it. So I decided to go to an orthopedic, he's a surgeon and he told me I have, uh, they did x-rays and he told me I have something called FAI. Um, I forgot the impingement. <laughs> I don't know. It's something impingement. I'll put it on the screen um, because I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, but basically it's when the hip bone is too large to fit into the socket. So it's like pinching the muscle. Um, I guess it's pretty common. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw a picture. Just hold on. Okay. <laughs> this is my beautiful drawing of a hip bone. So this would be like your pelvis, this part. Um, this is the socket where your hip bone goes in. And this is your hip bone. So this is a normal one. And it could move around freely, you know. This is what mine looks like. So my left one looks like this. It's normal. And then you can, it's pretty, it's really obvious on the x-ray. I don't have the x-ray, unfortunately. I, I should have asked to take a picture of it. But um, this is the right one. So it's large, too large to fit properly into the socket. So this part, which would be my right hip, this would be like my skin, whatever. So this part, any movement like that way, out vertical um, or lateral would be like pinching right here and he said it's likely that I have a tear because of this pinching um, I I do not know if I have a tear because uh, I did not get an MRI but because of the pain and I didn't have the pain before it's likely that I have a tear hopefully you guys understand that but um, if you're really interested, look up an x-ray of what that looks like and you'll see the difference of the size of the hip bones and you'll see how it can be pinching. After that diagnosis, it was a bit of a relief because I was able to search it and I felt like my symptoms actually matched that. And it did also match tendonitis, but the main thing that stood out to me was that it causes groin pain, which back in March, which is when I started doing heavy sumo deadlifts or heavy for me, um, is when I started feeling groin pain. So I think what may have caused the initial tear, and it may have been a small one then, was sumo deadlifts for sure, because that's when I felt the pain in my groin. So I honestly don't think I'll be able to sumo deadlift anymore especially not heavy, which is really unfortunate, but I don't want to keep causing pain to my hip because it sucks. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what kind of triggered it. But he told me to go to physical therapy, so I went to physical therapy this morning, and I recently, I was working full-time at my job, but I recently stepped onto part-time, so I lost my insurance as of August 1st. I got new insurance. It started August 1st. With my old insurance, it would have cost me $10 per visit. And I think I had, he told me I had like 20 visits a year or something. So that would have been a really good price, obviously, for physical therapy. Um, this morning when I went, I paid that $10. And then he had to run my new insurance card and like call some people or whatever. And after I finished my appointment, they told me it was going to be an additional $133. So 143 total. Basically with this insurance, um, I'm paying toward the deductible as if I don't even have insurance. The, the price that I paid, 143, is like the actual amount without insurance, basically. Um, it's just that I'm paying toward my, dedu my deductible. So it wouldn't even, I would not be able to reach that point. So um, I had scheduled an appointment for next week, but 
I, when I got home, I canceled it because I'm not about to spend another $143 next week. And also the place that I went to, um, I didn't love it. I've never been to physical therapy before. And I don't know if it's always like this, but I was expecting to go into a room or something and just be with the physical therapist one-on-one -on -one the whole time. Um, this was like a whole big room. There were multiple tables and like exercise things, whatever, cool. But there were multiple patients being treated for multiple things. There were multiple physical therapists. I had one physical therapist, but she was working with two other patients. So she would just jump between the three of us. And I thought that the physical therapist would kind of like, like I did a stretch or whatever. I thought she would, you know, hold it for me or push it for me, you, you know, to help me stretch. But it was kind of, she would just tell me what to do and then I would do it myself. And I don't know if that's how it normally goes, but I just thought it would be a little bit more in depth than that. Um, I guess the good thing I got out of it is um, I learned some stretches to do. I know that they all exist anyway. And I also went there, I brought some KT tape, which I will show you guys in the next clip because I applied it myself. But I wanted her to show me how to properly apply it in order for it to benefit me with this diagnosis. She said, mm, that's a hard one. There's so many you could do for the hip. So she was like, let me do some research and I'll let you know next time. And I was just like a little bit frustrated with that too because I'm not saying you should know everything, obviously, but like I can do the research myself, you know? So uh, I just wanted somebody to show me how to do it because I thought that they would be more qualified and have more knowledge of that, but I guess not. And I mean, don't get me wrong, she was super nice. It was a decent place and stuff, but it's just not 100% not worth $150 almost. So. I would have kept going if it was the $10 a week probably, but I'm just not gonna go anymore. And I will go back to see the orthopedic in September just to, um, I think, I may cancel it. If I don't feel pain by then, I will cancel it, but yeah. Um, she did tell me that physical therapy may not even help me, which I think that goes for anyone really, like physical therapy isn't guaranteed so we'll see the good news is that my hip does not hurt as bad for sure i can get out of bed without pain i can walk without pain i still feel like i walk weird like my i don't know it's not rotating correctly um and i don't know if it's like in my mind or something because i've been limping for months now or for weeks really but uh i feel like i'm walking weird and but I can walk normal. I can do a leg day without a lot of pain. She told me to, that like she can't really give me any exercises I can or cannot do, that I just need to kind of feel it for myself and see if there's anything that aggravates it and to avoid that. So I know for sure sumo deadlifts are gonna aggravate that. Um, I'm pretty sure I need to avoid anything with bringing my knee all the way towards my chest. Like if I do leg press, I can do leg press, but only come about 90 degrees. So I might not get as deep as a uh, stretch in that or whatever, but that's fine. So I'm gonna try this on my own. I definitely gotta stick to the stretching and the warming up before I work out and all that. But hopefully everything will be okay. And please, if you have experienced this or anything like that, um, Please let me know what you did, your experience. I've had a few people reach out to me on Instagram telling me uh, their story and so far all of them tried physical therapy and it didn't work and then I uh, just had to have the surgery. So I'm really, really hoping that I don't need that. So fingers crossed that this works and I will update you guys later, I guess, when, I don't know, maybe in a month or so, see if I feel better. And also, if you are experiencing pain in your hip or anywhere, just be cautious of it when you are working out, if you are into that. And do not treat yourself as if you truly know what it is, because as you can see, I thought that was tendonitis this whole time. And it's not that I was treating it wrong or anything, but now that I know the diagnosis, this is like a completely different thing. So just go to the doctor after you know if it's been a few weeks so yeah
that's it and in the next clip i'm going to show you the kt tape i applied to my hip and hopefully it's right i have it on right now and it's sticking so far so good it's under my pants you can't really see it so that's good so yeah that's it i watched this video from ergasia pt and he explains how to tape and it says labral tear um, and it looks like this so there's four pieces of tape and that's what I'm going to attempt to do for myself um, this is the tape that I'm using I got it off Amazon I'll link it below and it's not the typical brand um, I guess it's just KT tape uh, this one had really good reviews so I'm going to try it out it's just a whole roll and it's two inches by 16.5 feet so I just cut it into four pieces that should fit my hip so I'm gonna try this right now okay so I taped my leg and I don't want to like show too much because that's my whole butt but yeah I'm not sure if I did it correctly um, I was laying down with like my knees kind of at a 90 degree angle like the girl in the video and when I stood up it kind of like the tape ball kind of scrunched near my butt so I don't know if I did that correctly it just said to be relaxed which I was and I think it would be easier if somebody else applied it and the guy said that it would last it should last for about seven days he was using a different tape so I don't know about this one um, and I don't know that this if this will show under my leggings uh, like when I go to the gym but I guess we'll find out I don't really feel my leg honestly hasn't been causing that much pain but I don't really feel anything it just feels I guess it's good <laughs> I don't know it feels I can feel the tension from the tape but mostly in my butt so I don't know if I did it right pretty cool though we'll see so first of all what you got? for this week <laughs> Stop zooming in. <laughs> for this week, um, maybe for like the next four or five days, I'm going to be drinking my gallon infused with cucumber and lemon and mint. Unfortunately, this little tin uh, only fits not even a gallon. This is the rest of it. So I'll just have to make it every day. It's about a fourth. What? About a fourth of a gallon. What? Never mind, I just won't talk. <laughs> um... But yeah, I'll just fill this up and then some of it won't be infused, but it shouldn't make that much of a difference. And then I'll just have to remake it every day. So I don't know the point of that really, I guess more of a detox, but um, I think it'll taste better. It maybe encourage me to drink it. So I gotta get back on my gallon. And then these are my breakfasts. I only made three because I only have three good jars. And I also just don't want them to get soggy and stuff. So I put oats, to, well, one of them is the extra thick rolled oats, two of them I made with the Love Grown Super Oats, Chia and Quinoa. These are really good and they have more protein and more like aminos or something, omega-3s. Um, but then I put almond milk, just enough to cover the oats. I put powdered chocolate peanut butter, I already mixed it with water so it's peanut butter consistency. And then I put some apples, some blueberries, a little bit of cinnamon, and a little bit of syrup. And those will be ready to eat each morning. For snacks, I'm going to be having half a bell pepper and the popcorn that I had showed in my grocery haul this morning. For one of my meals, it'll be sweet potatoes. I left these in the oven after they've finished so they're a little crispy but that's fine i like them like that anyway um made some quinoa tricolor quinoa and typically i cook my quinoa in vegetable broth but to save money i just use water um i season this with pepper and onion powder i think yeah or maybe it was garlic salt one of those um and i'm also going to be putting half an avocado with each one of these, but I'll do that the day of, so it stays fresh. That's that, sorry it's a mess. And then, over here, I have 
white rice and just some kidney beans and black beans which I seasoned with chili powder and onion powder. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of salsa with it when I eat it. So super simple, super easy. Just took me what, maybe like an hour? Yeah, I think it took me like an hour and a half to do everything, which isn't bad. And all of this was basically under, I the, the groceries I bought this morning was about $30, but with everything else that I had, under $40 at least. So not bad and it's easy and pretty healthy, so. Let's see.